laying the first courses of blocks. In this section, we will follow these steps to lay the first course. Start at a corner, lay standard blocks, use filler blocks, and install the rebar. To begin laying the first course of blocks on top of the footings, you may start at any corner, beginning with the left or right hand corner block tied to the 2 by 4 inch corner kickers. Work away from the corner in either direction towards the next corner using standard blocks. If the outside length of the wall you are working on is an exact multiple of 4 feet, then you will be able to use standard blocks all the way to the next corner. When you reach the next corner, place another corner block as before. If you used a right-hand corner block at the first corner, use a left-hand corner block at the new corner and vice versa. Attach the corner block to the adjacent full block using a multi-strap. This is an Advantage multi-strap. Uh, we put this on the corners. This goes on. There's pre-punched holes in it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to fasten the two corners so you can uh, get a quick peek here how we do this. The straps are made just long enough. So you can catch this joint, you can catch the first block the other side of the joint, and then the first tie in the corner. And we'll go over to this side and do the same. And when we're screwing these on, we like to make them tight, so we start at an angle. And then we pull our screw. Oops, and don't do that. Pull our screw. And that keeps the strap. The strap has two functions. If the concrete's too wet, it won't let the wall pull apart, or if they over vibrate it, we vibrate the walls all the time. And the other idea is that you can fasten any exterior siding or corner battens, whatever you need, you can fasten right through into this siding screw. If the length of the wall is not a multiple of 4 feet, then you will need to use a handsaw to cut blocks to fit. A cut block is referred to as a filler block. When you create a filler block, it is necessary to pay attention to web locations. In all blocks, the distance between webs is always 8 inches. When using filler blocks, the distance between webs should never be more than 8 inches and the ear, or piece of EPS form between the web and the end of the block, should not be greater than 4 inches. If either of these scenarios exists, then additional bracing will be required. To achieve acceptable web spacing, you may also need to trim the blocks adjacent to the filler block. Note that an indented line marks all Advantage Wall Systems ICF blocks at 1 inch intervals to simplify measuring and marking. Double lines mark web locations. Once a filler block has been installed, it is worth making note of the cut lengths with your permanent marker directly onto the blocks, since this scenario will be repeated on the third, fifth, and subsequent alternate courses. Keep the filler at least one full block in from any corner. This will help keep the corner rigid by maintaining the interlock in this region. Once the first course is complete, place rebar horizontally in the appropriate rebar clips in the web following your engineering specifications or the design tables in the Advantage Wall Systems Technical Manual. The rebar is staggered in order to support the vertical rebar. Vertical rebar is put in place once the wall is at full height. <laughs>